This is Sarah, a happy, bright, pretty 15-year-old girl. Sarah's Jewish. She was brought up in a Jewish home and raised with Jewish beliefs and teachings. She loved God with all her heart, the way she was supposed to, the way she was taught through His Word. Sarah had her whole life ahead of her, or so she thought. One day she was abducted by a man who took her out into the woods. She yelled out to God to help her, to comfort her, to, to save her. The man raped her and tortured her over and over for two days. Then, as violently as he had raped her, he killed her. Afterwards, he dismembered her body and buried the pieces in a shallow dirt grave for no one to ever find. Then he just walked away. It meant nothing to him. A few weeks later, he was caught, arrested, prosecuted, sent to prison with a death sentence hanging over his head. During the course of his legal problems, he confessed to doing the same thing to 30 other young women, just like Sarah. He was a serial killer. While sitting on death row, he met a Christian guard. The guard told him of Jesus' love and redemption, of his forgiveness. The man confessed his sins full-heartedly, said the sinner's prayer, and gave his life to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The next day, he was executed. When he awoke, he was in heaven, and he was greeted by Jesus, and they embraced. The man then asked Jesus about the little Jewish girl. His heart, now overflowing with love, wanted to tell her he was sorry for what he had done to her. Jesus replied to him, She is not here. She will for always be tormented and separated from my father and me in a place that my father has created for her. She loved my father with all her heart, but she did not love me. Did I not say in my word that the only way to the Father and to heaven is through the Son? She denied me. Jesus then went on to tell the man, I have, however, prepared a mansion for you. You believed in me, even if only for a day. And now you will live with eternal salvation and peace.